She is an ACM, CMT, Juno nominee, multiple CCMA and SCMA award winner, 2022 AIMP Nashville Rising Artist Writer of the Year. She's Saskatchewan's very own Tennille Arts. Hi, Tennille. Hello, how are you? That's a very impressive resume, but I'm sure we're going to add a lot more to that over the years to come. (laughs) <laughs> Thank you so much. I mean, it all started back in Saskatchewan, so. <laughs> yeah, well, we are so proud of you. In fact, uh, you, you, you've done us proud uh, since day one, and uh, we are so privileged to have you in our in our corner when it comes to representing Saskatchewan and Canada in general. I want to ask about that last award, that Nashville Rising Artist Writer of the Year, uh, the AIMP Award. Tell us what, what the basis of that award was all about. So basically each year uh, they have these awesome songwriter awards and, uh, you know, there's incredible writers in Nashville. And uh, this award means a lot to me because, you know, I have obviously always loved singing, uh, but I got into songwriting when I was about 15 years old. And and that's it's been such a great thing for me, but it's super competitive, (laughs) um, especially as an artist to be a writer. so it means a lot to be honored and, um, you know, kind of validate that I can write a song. <laughs> so I, I would imagine now you're getting a few more requests to get together with some friends and write. Which oh, you, yeah. Actually. You've always done that, right? <laughs> yeah, I've always done that. Um, but it's definitely there's been a lot more recently. And I think once you prove yourself as a songwriter, um, you know, people want to write with me more and more. So I've definitely gotten into some rooms that uh, weren't attainable before. So it's been good. <laughs> Very cool. And over the years, I've actually evolved in my career. I actually appreciate more now the songwriters than the actual singers, because, you know, there's a, millions of people that can sing, but to put pen to paper and to write a good song, that is a hard thing to do, especially nowadays. I don't know if there's any ideas that have not been used yet. I know. Yeah. Every time we get into a writing room, it's like, okay, what can we do that hasn't been done before? And if it has been done before, how can we do it a little different? So yeah, I mean, all the melodies, all the words have all been used before, but it's just, um, yeah, hopefully you can put your own spin on it and make something special. Good. And I would imagine more and more you're writing, you're, you're writing pretty much every day. Yeah, when I'm in Nashville, um, I'm always writing. So it's it's a little busy. Sometimes I'll hop off a plane, you know, that I got on at five in the morning and land in Nashville at nine and go straight to a writing session. So it's definitely, uh, yeah, it's a grind when I'm in, in town because you just try to take advantage of that time. The CMAs were on last night. Were you actually at the at awards ceremony? I was not. I was actually at um, a Luke Combs viewing party, so <laughs> I got to see it in a pretty cool way as well. I would imagine your calendar is quite full. It is, but it's it's great because I feel like we had, you know, two years of almost nothing and having to miss out on all of those things. And now we're back. And yeah, I mean, it's made this year fly by because it's been so busy. <laughs> Tennille Arts is my guest. And uh any candy from Halloween left over? I didn't even buy candy this year. I wasn't even like <laughs> thinking about that. I live in an apartment, so I never like, I feel like the reason to buy candy is to give it to kids um, and then also eat it yourself. But um, yeah, we've never, ever had any trick or treaters. So yeah, didn't buy it this year and I'm probably better off for it. <laughs> very, very safe decision. I talked about all your nominations and all your awards uh, recently you, you got featured on the cover of Guitar Girl magazine. How cool was that? That was awesome. That was with um, PRS Guitars, which um, they have been so good to me. You know, all of my guitars that I have now, besides my first one, they're all PRS guitars and um, I love them. You know, I just I think they're one of the best sounding guitars out there. And um, so it was super cool to get to be their little face of um, Guitar Girl magazine. <laughs> So does that mean you can smash a guitar every night on stage and get a new one? I wish. <laughs> It'd take out some anger for sure. <laughs> one of my favorite collectibles is guitar picks. You got your own personalized guitar picks yet? I do, actually. Yeah, I have little pink guitar picks with nice. uh, my name on them. So, <laughs> You know, you've, you've reached a new echelon of uh, success when you get your own guitar picks and you're on the feature cover of Guitar Girl magazine. Congratulations. 
Thank you. <laughs> Any bachelor gigs coming up? Oh, no, I think we're going to retire the bachelor gigs. <laughs> all right. All right. Uh, the other uh, uh, another milestone that you reach Dreamcatcher Entertainment Group. They encompassed uh, uh, you as their very first artist. And uh, tell us about that uh, uh, on that special occasion, because when you're the, the first artist signed to the debut of a record company, that's another uh, little notch on the resume that looks pretty good. Yeah, I'm super excited about it. I um, have worked with my manager for seven years, and he's the one that started this this label. So we actually kind of started it together. And I have a big say in everything that's going on there, which is really cool. Um, and then he also was able to acquire my entire catalog back to um, the label. And so I now have ownership in my music as well, which is something that I've always wanted as an artist. And I think sometimes people don't realize that a lot of your favorite artists don't own their music, which is crazy. I, I remember coming to Nashville for the first time and thinking that was just wild because we're the ones creating it you know so um it's really special and i'm i'm super excited and we're already yeah we hit the ground running so there's a lot coming up soon nice and i would imagine you've got all the leeway you want when it comes to creative uh that creative thoughts and ideas they're not going to hold you back no I, like i have full creative control i get to do what I want and release what I want and be a part of all of it, which is, is super special because I think it makes it a little bit more personal and less, you know, corporate, <laughs> you know, that's, that's one of the special things about being an independent artist and being with an independent label. So um, yeah, I think the future looks bright. I hope, I hope it stays that way. <laughs> It's Saskatchewan's very own Tennille Arts is my guest. And I, uh, I understand you're going to be spending New Year's Eve back home here in Saskatchewan. I will be. Yeah, I'm going to be playing in um, at the Dakota Dunes Casino and getting to ring in the new year with a bunch of my favorite people. Nice, nice, nice. And you're also promoting your brand new single, Girl to Girl. This thing has just exploded. It's taken off most added Canadian country song for the last two weeks in a row. And I'm sure it'll be uh, three weeks come next Monday. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Like, thanks for the support, I cannot thank country radio enough. You know, I've been around for a long time and I just really cannot thank you all enough for still playing my music, still being behind me. And especially with this new song, you know, this was the title track of my album and I was dying to get another song out in Canada before we come with the new song at the same time in, in the, the U S and in Canada in January with um, jealous of myself. So we have a lot of new things happening. <laughs> the, uh, the uh, 11, 10 train just went by. I can hear it in the background. It sure did. I, they go <laughs> crazy here with the, the train sounds. I feel like every, Every single apartment has a, a train beside it, I swear. <laughs> I want to ask about your future endeavors and future projects. Uh, I know the singles out, Girl to Girl now. Uh, tell us about your agenda, where you're going to be, what you're going to be doing. And uh, we'd love to promote the fact that uh, you're going to be uh, hopefully through the area very soon. Yeah, I've got a lot of new music coming. I'm going to be hitting the road in the new year, hopefully coming out to Canada and playing a lot more because it's been way too long. Um, the last time I was really out on tour up there was with Dean Brody in 2018. So uh, hopefully gonna get uh, back up that way really soon and get across the country again. Good, good. Well, congratulations and all the success and all the nominations and the awards and uh, uh, one of these one of these days we're going to see you win the entertainer of the year at the CMAs, <laughs> or the ACMs or one of the big award shows because uh, you've got it you got what it takes you're the complete package and we are so proud that you're from Saskatchewan Canada always waving our flags and all the best to you thank you so much well CKRM has been there since day one so thank you so much I want